For this next part, I'm going to use my yarn needle and I'm going to thread it with the yarn coming off of the slip knot. Then I'm going to look at my edge and those loops of yarn right there are the bottom loop of the beginning chain. So I'm going to work into every other loop and I'm going to work from the inside out every single time and just pick up that loop. I'm going to do this all the way around and then in the next part I'll show you what it looks like when you pull it together and what to focus on. But this video is just to show you how to work into the loops. I'm trying to keep these parts short and concise so that, I don't know, I get overwhelmed with projects sometimes and patterns when I see everything at once because I don't have the patience. Um, but if someone just tells me what to do in like short increments, I can do it pretty well. But you know the whole thing where you're supposed to read the test, read all the questions of the test before you start the test. I'm the kind of person that just like wants to go ahead and get started. Um, so that's what I focus on with my videos. I know it bothers some people, but it's okay. It'll be fine. But here we are back at normal speed. I just wanted to show you the very last one. And it's going to be the one right there at the base of the slipknot. Right there. 